Strangely, the hand of one mummy still shows the traces of a fire that burns brightly in all living things, the Curlian aura. You were witnessing the strange, as yet unexplained event called the Curlian Effect. Its presence has been suspected for years. Only recently could the living spark be photographed. Fingertips and all living things generate a dynamic, constantly changing aura that sometimes sparks and leaps like a flame. How it works is something we simply do not know. At UCLA, Dr. Thelma Moss explores the strange world of Curlian photography. Uh, let's say that there are about six different words that we can describe for this effect, depending on who you are. If you are a conventional physicist, you will call it a corona discharge. And that means it's an electrical emanation caused by the current and the voltage going through the object. Some people who are more inclined to the occult or to the mystical will call it an aura. And they will compare, for example, in famous paintings, whether it's of Buddha or Jesus or Mohammed or anywhere around the world, there are these auras that are circling around the head. And they would like to believe that what we are photographing with this electrical photography is a representation of that, something invisible to the eye, but which exists in and around the body. That's another word. Then if you want to be sort of non-committal, as I prefer to be, I would call it an emanation or some uh, outpouring of an energetic thing. The Russians call this energetic thing by a technical name, bioplasma. Her laboratory is a sealed light-proof chamber where the mysterious force can actually be seen. Triggered by an electrical current, the flaming halos that burst from objects exposed to the curling effect will be captured on high-speed film. An ancient marine creature that died 450 million years ago displays the residue of an ancient life force. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? What do you think that was? Okay, here's a very healthy and vigorous plant, and I am going to take a leaf from it. And what I'm going to do here is cut off one good healthy section of it like that. And when I do, I'm going to place it on the glass electrode here so that you can see very clearly where the leaf has been cut. Is that good for you, Clark, for framing? Okay. Now, when we turn on the Curlian apparatus, I think, hopefully, hopefully, that we will see in outline the part of the leaf that has been cut away. We call that the phantom leaf effect. And after a moment, it is there. The aura of the full leaf... Okay, I'll leave this thing. But just step over on each side of that glass plate. Put your fingers on the back. I'm going to turn the power source on. Get very close to each other, but not touching. Very good. Now, do you feel that? Okay, fine. Does that feel comfortable for you? Fine. Good. Now, would you lean across to each other and start kissing? And please make it a passionate embrace. Okay? <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Use hands. Use anything you can. Go to it. I think you work up a little more enthusiasm. It looks to me as though maybe Arlene is having a little more fun than Fred. Can you get more into it, Fred? It looks like it's pretty good. 
You can have any kind of fantasies you like. Life force responds to an emotional experience. Okay, that looks just fine. What is it we're looking at in purely in photography? And up to this moment in time, nobody knows. Whatever is seen in Curlian is seemingly immortal and possibly universal. In the mummy's hand, we find a life spark, thousands of years old. The mummification techniques developed by the Egyptians preserve the bodies of their royal dead for more than 4,000 years. But even that is but an eyepeak of time when immortality is considered. Every so often, a hint that immortality is possible.